As a private investigator, you take the cases you can get. It usually means long nights following scumbags to sleazy motels and taking photos too distasteful even for TMZ. Sometimes the scumbag runs. You have to chase him into the sewer where your socks get wetter than a deli sandwich that soaked up all the leaky pickle juice. Guess that's how I found myself on this crappy case. Standing in crap-filled water, facing down a piece of crap criminal for a paycheck. Wouldn't be worth crap to a crap. If you think that sounds like too much crap, imagine how I feel. I didn't kill my wife! I don't care! Then why are you doing this to me? Because that's what I do. I bring down bad guys. In this case, that's you. Besides, I know your wife isn't dead. She hired me to find out if you... Ugh, if you sold her parrot. Which you did, because you're a pile of crap. Which is why we're down here. I have photos. You don't understand. That bird drove me crazy with its constant squawking. I, I didn't hurt the thing. I just found it a new home. Oh, well, now you're going to find a new home in the big house. Or pay a small fine and be on your way. Wait, so the murder investigation I was hearing about on the police scanner wasn't about me? Ooh, is that an OTR 160 band police scanner? Oh man, if I had one of those, I could get a leg up on the real crimes before they all get picked over. No more dumb, lame gigs involving fake crabs or goat statues or bird nappers. I could solve me a bona fide murder case. Hand it over or I'll. Oh! Ah! Oh crap, that was an accident. Tell you what, uh, help me find that radio you just dropped and maybe we can work something out. Okay, yeah. Uh, nope, that's something mushy and disgusting. Which, to be fair, in the sewer pipe is pretty on brand. Nothing but gross water. Are you even helping? I'm looking, I'm looking. Keep searching, scumbag. Nada. Here either. I found it. Great, give it here. Okay, but you said we could trade, right? Radio for photos. Sure, that's what I said. All right. Okay, here you go. Now the photos. Okay, a deal's a deal. Just let me get them for you. I've just got to click on my inventory. Looks like it's your lucky day. Or maybe I just don't like bird pics. Either way, take your photos. Get out of here! Wait, no, no, no! Oops. All officers in the vicinity report to public playground at the corner of Scarlet and River. There's been a murder. <gasps> Sweet! This is gonna be so good. <clears throat> I mean... Just another night when it's Jim Soap Town, and murder is the chaser. Crime. When you're a private investigator, it toils away at you like a grain of sand in your eye. You can't see it, but you know it's there. And the more you scratch at it, the worse it gets. But you have to keep scratching until you get it out or you go blind try it. In this case, was about to throw a fistful of sand right in my face. Sorry, sir. This is a crime scene. Please step away.
It's okay. I have a, a police scanner. Also, I'm a private eye. Or a public M. Depending on how much of my backstory you're familiar with. Name's Nick Bounty. I have a few questions for you. Looks like you got a hell of a mess in your hands. What happened here? Dead body. Some kids were playing in the sandbox when they discovered her. Naked? No, they were all fully dressed. But the clothes on the victim had been torn off. The victim? Who was she? Don't know yet. We didn't find any ID on her. Once we get her down to the morgue, we can run her prints and see if she's in the system. Who's the unsub? The what? The unknown subject? Isn't that how you say it? Oh, that's stupid. We just say suspect like everyone else. Ah, got it. Who's the suspect, then? Don't have one yet. The boys down the station think this is probably a suicide. Suicide? Really? Yep, and they're pretty much wrapped up here. Now you're welcome to take a look around, just don't touch the body. Why not? Because that's like gross! It's all cold and icky! Ugh. Just wait until we can bring it to the morgue for proper processing. Don't go anywhere, I'm gonna have a look around. That's some set of sticks for a dead dame. Sticks? Gams. What are gams? Stems. Like plant stems? Pins, drumsticks, pillars, stilts, uprights, getaway sticks. I don't... Forget it, kid. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, she's got nice legs, though. Hello, little spider. Spider? I hate spiders! Phew! That was close. A little extreme, but okay. The sand over here is wet. Yeah, we noticed that too. Smells like... <laughs> Oh, piss. Oh, that's disgusting. Huh, that's the same reason I avoid public pools. Kids tend to use them as their own personal toilets. I'm never going in a sandbox again. Uh, unless it's uh, on a case or, or a date. I'm going to avoid them in general, though. I remember we had one of these at my elementary school. I got caught playing murder on the Orient Express with Libby Wilson. We both got a week's detention. Totally worth it. These used to be a great place to catch some shut-eye until the internet made those free blankets obsolete. Whoa, fancy dog collar. This thing must have cost a pretty penny. Where's the pretty dog? We didn't find a dog. Uh, maybe there is no dog. This thing looks brand new. Maybe it was a gift? It's like they say. Never look a gift dog in the mouth. No one says that. Hmm, there's an inscription on it. Congratulations on your promotion. It's an odd thing to congratulate someone with.
Sometimes I feel like the life of a private eye in this city is just like riding on one of these. Climb on, hoping for a little action, and before you know it, you're puking your guts out in a spiral while a bunch of other poor saps just stand there watching, waiting for their turn. It's Nick Bounty, the city's most prolific dog walker. <laughs> I'm not a dog walker, I'm a detective. Didn't you see my radio? Detective, huh? Sounds dangerous. What's that around your neck? Did you lose a fight with a trout? It's a fish tie. It's professional. Prove to me it's not. Look, there's a murder to solve here. Are you gonna help me or not? Uh, no. We're just here to make sure the crowds don't get out of control. The non-existent crowds. Yep. Well then, keep up the non-existent work. The trash can in the playground. The typical bully's endgame. No crying children or other useful evidence in there at the moment. Woman's shoe. Aqua colored. No! Periwinkle. Got a scuffed heel. Might have belonged to the victim. It appears to have bite marks on it? Like it's been chewed. I may have to question the children to see if any of those knee biters were biting below the knee today. Standard issue, black and white. Of course, in my world, all cars are black and white, so the distinction doesn't hold much weight. still doing here? That's the question, isn't it? What are any of us doing here? No, I mean, here at the playground. Oh, I've got to stay and protect the body until the medical examiner comes to pick it up. What's the deal with you and spiders? Little eight-legged dudes aren't that scary. It's not the legs that creep me out. It's the eight eyes. Why do they need so many eyes? What the hell are they looking at? That's all for now. I'm gonna go look for more evidence. Still keeping up that top-notch police work, I see. Why don't you just leave the police work to professionals, huh? Yeah, if we find any stray dog poop that needs collecting, we'll let you know.
Oh, there's something up there. Just out of reach. Could be evidence. Looks like a purse. Might be related to the crime. Maybe I should tell someone about it. got unusually long arms. Will you uh, help me get a thing out of a tree? It might be evidence. No, sir. I've got to stay right here and make sure no one messes with the dead body. Sorry. Hey, I think I saw a spider in that tree over there. Ah, spider! That's all for now. I'm going to go look for more evidence. Victim's purse? It might be. We didn't see it earlier. I'm saying if it's not yours, can I have it? It's a pretty nice purse. Goes nicely with my hat. No, it's evidence. It's empty anyway. Seen enough? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this is no suicide. Huh. If you say so. I just need to get back to my office so I can analyze the evidence. Anything else you can tell me? Well, I, uh, I can tell you that I enjoy long walks on the beach and candlelit jello baths. About the crime scene? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, no. How would that even work anyway? Do you mix the jello in the tub and then just wait for it to gel around you? Or, or, or do you make it first and then get in? Ugh, please, do not answer any of these questions. I want to further examine the dead body. Go ahead and send it back to the morgue. I'll meet with the coroner there. We go way back. Right. Who are you again? I'm a detective. Once you've seen enough crime scenes, you'd think they'd get easier to stomach. But it's just the opposite. Each one adds a layer of grime until you can feel the grit on your teeth. This time it was the literal grit of pea-soaked playground sand, and there wasn't a toothbrush in sight. From here, I could either head back to my office to analyze the evidence, or visit the morgue and inspect the dead body. I decided to head back to my office before checking the morgue. I needed to analyze the evidence of the crime scene while it was still fresh in my mind. Mr. B. Sub Street, Steve. Uh, what's going on with my usual parking space? The meter's busted. Well, that figures. Are you going to work now, Mr. B? That's right, Street Steve. If you see anyone looking to have a crime solved, you send them upstairs, above the butter shop. You got it. And you know what my finders feel is. Yeah, I know. Some of the hair of the bee that bit you. Huh? No, whiskey will be fine. I know, Street Steve. 